Hi gentlemen, and welcome back to my channel. Uh, in the German version of this video I'm reviewing this book, which is basically called How, I, How Do I Learn to Track, uh, from a guy called Hans-Jörg Riebel. But since this book is not available in English as far as I know, I thought what could I do, because I want to do this in dual language, so one video in English, one in, in German for the same topic every day, I thought I might tell you what I think should be in a good tracking book. So you can research by your own. Um, I, I, I started looking into tracking about 10 years ago, but I never could find somebody who's really good at it. And uh, I also couldn't find a good book, because everybody I ask who knew a person who is perfect in tracking, they all showed me the same. Just the footprints of animals, people or whatever. And um, that's boring. You find this everywhere in every book. And especially if the soil is wet, if it's muddy, it's, it's not a big deal to, to recognize a footprint. Uh, I just forgot the English word um, for animal footprint, so sorry for that. So what I really wanted to do is real tracking, you know, like in the old Western movies, when the Indians are coming and they go to the ground and tell you three horses from the West, uh, seven hours five minutes and 30 seconds ago well, and uh, one horse was pregnant. Well, this, this, this is what you really want from track reading, you know, uh, or from tracking. So um, I looked at a lot of books and it was like everybody was writing the same, just the, these basics you can find, which is the track has to be between you and the sunlight. Um, it's, it's better to, to track at dusk at dawn because the, the sun comes in at a very flat angle so there's more, uh, there are more uh, shadows thrown from the, from the track. And then of course footprints, how they look like, boring stuff, boring stuff. And then I, I, I found this book um, and uh, it wasn't in light but pretty, pretty thin, but what, what's in here? For me, the, the important thing is, so first the basics, of course, I just told you about. Then uh, after the basics, it's important that um, they, they tell you the different ways animals and or people, depending on what kind of tracking you're looking at, are walking. Yeah? So some are walking like this, yeah? with front and back leg parallel. The others, now I have to concentrate, do it like this. Okay and um, how it looks when they turn, how it looks when they run, how it looks when they jump. Um, so you can get the, the, the mood where the animal was in um, from the track and then also things like how can I read from the track if it was a male or a female, very important. And um, <coughs> then all the, the additional stuff based um, on this, so like don't concentrate on the track only. Uh, concentrate on the area. So you, you change between track reading and area reading, basically. So you get the big picture. So where, where might it go? Because you will lose a track. Simple example, standard Western movie. Somebody uh, is, is going into a river upstream, downstream. Track is gone. If it's an animal, it will not do this by purpose uh, to get rid of, uh, of you. So, uh, muddy area uh, suddenly changes into a sandy area and it's dry, or it goes over rocks. So, how do you track it? Are there any lost track procedures you can apply? That's very important. Um, what are the techniques basically to, to track something over rocks? Yeah, so, uh, that's all in this book, for example. And um, then what uh, was also important, you, you want to know the age of, of the track. And uh, the important thing is what he is doing, because he has got a technical background, um, he's taking out the voodoo of track reading. It's not voodoo. It's fact base. It's technique. It's experience. It's knowledge. So um, the age of, of a track, for example, um, one thing he is suggesting, for example, you create a box with different compartments. You get the standard soil you've got in your area, put it in, and then um, you, you do one track 
per day, like with your fingers or if you got some some something from an animal you can use, press it in. At the beginning you do just do it uh, one per day, keep the box outside in the standard weather situation so you can see how the, the, the track is aging over time. So this is not voodoo, that's, um, that's basically research what you're doing. Uh, very important, it's fact-based, it's research. And um, then, uh, what else do I want to say? Aging, taking out uh, the voodoo, knowledge, for example. Um, if you know that in your area you've got roe deer and wild boar, and you find a typical roe deer or wild boar track footprint, which is uh, these two toes we, we call in Germany, I'm not sure if it's the same in English, then you can be pretty sure it's either roe deer or it's wild boar. Yeah. So that's knowledge, which also narrows uh, actually the the the, uh, the set of or the set of, of options you've got. Uh, it's research, and um, when you have got some experience, and suddenly you find uh, a track of this, and you see. Oh, should be roe deer or wild boar, but for some reason it looks different. Hey, then you've got um, the exception, and maybe it's it's red deer or what, what else came around, and that that should be in a good book. So um, I think there are a lot of things that are not in here. Um, so, but if if you know if you've got a basic understanding, what you want from from track reading from a book, you will find one. And uh, the good thing today is if you go on Amazon and you can purchase it as ebook in Germany you can give it back within 48 hours I think you purchase it you take a look at it if it's rubbish if you don't like it simply give it back so that's my tip on finding a good book on, on track reading thanks a lot